Another great view of Sakurama and the famous church there up on the hill. If you walk up there, you've got a panoramic view of the Atlantic Ocean, and you can see these two guys in the lineup from far away, Kanoa Garashi taking on Ryan Cowan, and a rematch from last year where Ryan went on to win the matchup, went all the way to his best result of his career. That's really, he saves for really good waves, powerful waves. Kano already got a start during the break, looking clean and smooth on the finish, Jesse. Yeah, I mean, this is um, some of the situations, some of the conditions that Kano is so dangerous. He's so good at adapting. He has a lot of speed, generates speeds like no one else, and that just shows right, right there how comfortable he is. Like, it's a nice first gouge. In the most critical part of the section right there, even though the, the wave wasn't so steep, but it was very hard to find that pocket and finish it off that down the line, lip line, like I was mentioning, um, that Emai brought it a little bit too vertical and got stuck. Their parents are always so proud of them as we get right into this one, a fall up and down from Ryan Cowan. And so kind of interesting how the last heat we saw Emai struggling and Crosby kind of finding the gems. Paddling into this one, Kanoa Garashi, wave number two. Nice smooth bottom turn and sliding out on the wrap. That'll be an incomplete maneuver for Kanoa. It's so many great memories, but that was a huge one. It was on the front page of the newspaper the next morning that Toledo beat Bede in the final. Bede was ripping, but he was actually comboed. One judge had, or two judges had, Felipe having a perfect heat that year. As we look at Kanoa Garashi redirect on the open face, hitting the oncoming section. That'll improve his backup score and strengthen his lead over Ryan Cowan. This is, this is what makes Kanoa so special in these conditions. He's so good at adapting, like he doesn't have a backup. So this is, wasn't a great wave, but he just managed to get a backup score. Very tricky to read, a lot of bounce. Nice first setup turn, finished it off. He's not gonna have a great score, but he wants to get himself in a good rhythm, which what we're talking about, Ryan, kind of not having the best rhythm so far in this heat. And Kanoa is just trying to take advantage of that moment. and making the most of it and have a big gap in front of Ryan. So smart surfing here from Kanoa Garashi, multiple time US Open champ, looking for his second CT win of his career and travels all around the world, helping out a lot of the best surfers in the world as well. Last of Kanoa Garashi, good one maneuver opportunity there, Jesse. A lot of highlights in Kano Igarashi's career, but it was definitely a significant moment when he jumped on the Sharp Eye program. Here comes an important wave for Ryan Callanan. Wedging left, and he really digs in off the top. Setting up his second move. Nice patience there, and blitzes the lip line. And uses all that leftover momentum for a wrapping cutback. Hey, let's, let's see this one from Ryan first, but this first gouge here was massive for the section right there. Beautiful, bringing it all the way around. And then keeping it very calm in the transition right there, identifying that critical part of the wave, getting it very tight. And I mean, in my opinion, this is the best wave off the heat so far. Um, probably gonna be close to um, Kanoa's wave, but I, I, I think the point of difference on this one is just that Big hack he did on the first um, turn right there. Laying on the rail pretty much as long as you can on a day like today is very tricky out there to do that. And changing the rhythm, finding his rhythm back again. As you see right here, beautiful style from him. Air dropping, so it, it, even though it was the carve, it was very critical part of the wave. And second turn, even better, more critical. Beautiful wave selection also from him. He's right back on the heat with a, with a very good score. Also runner up to Ethan Ewing at Bells. And now getting an angle here of Kanoa Garashi, Jesse. Yeah, I think that was the wave right behind Ryan. That was a nice finish right there for Kanoa. Ryan now with priority needs a 5.63 to get the lead. He might be rolling in now. Solid overhead wave here. Draws it back in the pocket, ton of speed here. Nice section to attack off the top, but Ryan goes down. Cleaner on the face. Nice and steady, kept his rail throughout the whole turn because the wave was kind of um, shifty. And then right here, he probably lost a little bit of balance as he was going on that bottom turn. And once he hit the, the lip right there, you see him kind of putting his weight over his toes. Let's get caught up here, Ryan Callanan getting this wave during the break. 
throw tail into reverse and rides away. Patiently waited for that section, Jesse. What would you think? I mean, that was impressive how he was able to actually come out clean out of that section. There's so much turbulence in the whitewash. Um, as far as progression, if you talk on a day like today, this is this is pretty decent, man. As you see right there, critical section, wow. having the tail pretty high, no hands, landing it backwards, and having to engage that um, those fins back again to to bring the um, the nose back facing the beach. It's a, a balance of being uh, prepared as an athlete, being strong mentally, physically, but also having a, a really cool connection with the water here. Deep off the bottom and going straight down is our cow. He's going to make a move right now. Chasing a 692. Patiently waiting for that first section. Hammers it. Air drops, but he goes into a layback and does not recover. But Ryan, a nice fight back and gave us a lot to talk about there. Wrapping cut back, nice snap. And then also went to the air as well which was absolutely fantastic. 3-1 now over Kanoa as Ryan moves on. Betty Kaipo, Ryan Kalina, another battle against Kanoa. You were struggling to find your backup store and then you came up with the air. What did you see in that wave that turned the game around? Um, yeah, it was a really bad wave actually. When I took off, I was, he actually looked like it had something and then where I was was a bit bad and went real soupy, but I thought I just had to try something. Um, feels like they've been scoring airs the last few days so the wind's perfect for them and I just thought I'd give it a go but it, yeah it worked out for me. Definitely and you're still gonna have another heat today so how are you feeling mentally about the condition how comfortable you're feeling today? Um, yeah it actually it probably looks it's hard out there for sure but it's quite fun when you're out there it's junky and stuff but there's some big walls and some nice sections it's there's a lot of paddling and it's a lot of hard work. I'll probably sleep well tonight, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Good luck in the next round and congratulations. Thank you very much. Back to you, Kaipo.